Hello and welcome to Diary of a Trader. And in today's video, we're going to go over uh, another type of chart option uh, that's called point and figure. You've probably seen this before. If I go up to the, the uh, trading views, uh, different types of charts that I can look at where we have bars, hollow candles, Heikinashi, line, area, baseline, Renko, line break, Kagi, all those. What we want is point and figure. And point and figure is going to be a lot like uh, like Kagi or Renko or GAN swing charts, you know, where where with Kagi charts, there is no uh, uh, time involved. Point and figure is only a price driven style. And that is all we need to worry about is just price. And we'll notice that, you know, we have X's and O's and ultimately, you know, this is just time-based price price movements that don't take in, it take, take into consideration the time. And if we look at this, we see the, the, the O's represent bearish movement and the X's represent bullish movement. And right now, by default, what TradingView will do is it'll set it to ATR and the reversal amount is, is shown as three. So that means that we would need three of the X's or O's to form a new line. And each each line or column, as they're called, is only going to have X's or O's. So the ATR, it says, is, is 0. 0.0001, <coughs> excuse me, 0.015. The problem with ATR is that it changes and adjusts. So it could, it could change from one moment to the other. So I, I like to use, and I'd recommend that you use the static uh, uh, setting so I could go with the box size so each X or O is going to represent five pips okay and then the the reversal amount three means that so if there's when there are three or 15 pips of movement that's going to reverse the the uh, candlestick or sorry rather the the, the direction and paint the X's or the O's so if we're looking at this pound dollar chart, I mean, we can see it's a very actually clean chart because we can we can really identify where a lot of our trend lines are going to go. So we can see there's a trend there. We have short term trend down here. We can we can you know draw our Fibonacci levels like like we have sitting here. That's actually draw our fib level from this swing to this swing for a long-term fib swing and then we could also draw it from the most recent swings as well from here to here all right and so what is a common a common way to trade point and figure charts is that let's say that we know we are we are in a kind of a consolidative zone here what we would look for to do is, is let's say we were trading in this range here then we would probably want to put a buy level above the x of the prior column that would be a good buy entry also a good sell entry would be if we were trading up here we took profit we saw a low was made, but it didn't breach a prior column low. We just keep looking and looking. And then finally, when we see that there is <clears throat> price that moves beyond the previous low of a column, that's when we would enter in a short. And we can see this kind of progress as we go along. It's also very easy to spot areas of support and resistance because they're very flat levels. You know, for some people, the, the five five pips is not going to be, uh, is, is too fast. So we could actually go to 10 pips if we want, and that'll reduce our, reduce our, um, it'll reduce the trade opportunities you have, but, but, but it'll give you more accurate changes. That's the, that's kind of the danger with a lot of these price only based uh, charts like Renko, 
and 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 uh, Kagi charts and range based charts, and then all and then we have the point figure is that you you can be stuck at a certain column for quite some time before it changes, but at the same time, you know when you have a smaller brick or a, a smaller box size, then you you run the risk of getting into a lot of false breakouts or, or, you know, you, you can end up just getting in and out of trades too fast. But, but then the, the problem is you think, well, I should go with a longer time frame or not a longer time frame, a higher box size. You, you get into the problem then of not getting very many signals. And, and so that can sometimes bother people too. But the signals that you would get on the longer time or the, not the longer time frame, the the higher box count are going to be more uh, representative of of uh, an honest and sustained move. So certainly, as we see here in the most recent price action, we see that you know when price rallied up a little bit and then we formed a new column of O's when we broke the prior low there. You know we we can see, or actually, if you didn't even want to break the prior low, you could draw a triangle, and there was a triangle there. When we broke that and painted a O, then certainly the short trade was correct. So what are we looking for here right where we're at? Well, the close here on the circle was 131.60. And so we are at a 10 pip count brick. So that means we would have to trade up 30 pips from here. So we would need to trade up to... Um, uh, uh, 90. So once we got up to 131.90, we would end up painting our green X's on here. And then, and then that would tell us that we are getting close to some type of reversal. And then ultimately, let's say we had those green X's fill up this entire column here. Where would our buy entry be? We have a couple options. We could buy up on a re-entry into this upwards trend line or you could wait till we broke the previous x the previous high the high of the previous x we could we could trade that there too so there's a couple options but point and figure charts this is an old school way of, of of looking at charts it's been around for quite a long time it's a very 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 effective form of trading in fact if we use if we use the Ichimoku, or not the Ichimoku system, the, the volume profile, that is another tool in our trading toolbox that helps us with uh, trading the point and figure charts. Uh, point and figure charts, again, just like Renko, if you're somebody who struggles with candlesticks and, and interpreting candlesticks or gets whipped out too much with candlesticks, then maybe something like point and figure is a is a, a, a chart that chart for you because not everybody can trade candlesticks. Okay, there, it's not meant, you know, there are various chart styles because they adapt to certain people. So, um, yeah, hope you guys found this video interesting and I look forward to talking with you in our future videos. Bye-bye.